Hi guys, so um, you're probably here because you can't make your Wacom Cintiq work with your Windows PC and just now, just a few minutes ago, I'm finally able to make it work and I'm really excited about it. So uh, I thought I'd share with you how I make it work, how I made it work because it is very frustrating when it won't work. So what happened was I have this Wacom Cintiq 13 Pro and I connected it with my, with my iMac, which used to be my PC, and it worked perfectly with just the um, USB-C connection connected to the USB-C connection in the back of the iMac, and it works perfectly. But then I decided that I don't want the iMac anymore, and I just want to use a Windows PC because I'm more used to it. And that's when I started running into a lot of trouble because I can't get the display to come out from my Wacom Cintiq. It keeps saying in the Wacom Control Center, Desktop Control Center, that um, it's not a Cintiq. It's thinking that it's Intuos Pro or something because I can use it as a tablet, but I can't use it as a duplicate display. So um, I purchased a lot of cables. I'll show you right here. A lot of money wasted, and this is the only thing that worked. And hopefully you can do this and hopefully your Cintiq would work as well. So um, what I purchased is this new Wacom Link Plus. It's expensive, it's like 70 pounds, 75 pounds or something in Amazon. And what it, uh, um, it comes with cables, but even so, <laughs> you'd still need to have your own cables. Um, so what I did is I, um, connected the power in this uh, in here and this is connected to my um, Cintiq so I've only got one cable connected to my Cintiq nothing more and then to make it work you should have your USB to USB-C connection or is it Thunderbolt? what is this? I think it's Thunderbolt or it might be USB-C connect it in the back, don't connect it in the front because um, when I went to support for Wacom they don't recommend you putting it in the front so I put it in the back of the PC connected in the back in a USB connection and that powers the tablet to be on the tablet mode if you just want to use it as a tablet it doesn't have any display, to, to have the display you have to have the HDMI to HDMI cable connected in the back so I tried to use the mini disport um, <laughs> mini display port to HDMI and it didn't work and I was so depressed because I was like no it's still not working and um, <laughs> so I, I was I was trying to um, make it work and it won't I tried to check and the computer's just not picking it up as a display so um, I got an HDMI to HDMI cable in the back and connected it and that's when it just suddenly worked. So um, you need the new Wacom Link Plus, which is really expensive, unfortunately. And you need, uh, I think it's a USB-C to a USB cable. Um, this came with the Wacom Link Plus, actually, so you don't need to purchase that, but you will need your own HDMI cable to HDMI. And you need an HDMI connection in the back of your PC free. So I now, because my PC only have one HDMI port available, I have to use the VGA connection for my monitor. So um, my monitor is running VGA connection with my CPU, and then my Wacom is now connected to HDMI display in the back. So you can't buy a USB-C to HDMI cable because HDMI apparently only carries display. So it's not going to work with your Wacom because it needs to have that tablet feature of it working as well, as well as the display. So if you buy one thinking that if you connect an H, um, a USB-C uh, connection on your Wacom and connect it straight to an HDMI connection in the back, it's not going to work. Um, I also have this old Wacom Link that came with the... Um, with the Wacom Cintiq 13 Pro that I bought, but this is old, this is second hand, this Wacom Cintiq. So I don't know if this is functioning well, that's why I decided to buy a new Wacom Link and thinking maybe that's the problem. And I think that is the problem because um, this new, this old Wacom Link 
Plus doesn't have an HDMI connection on it, but it does have a mini display port, um, which you can buy a mini display port HDMI um, cable to HDMI cable, but it's not gonna work. Trust me, <laughs> I've tried it. So um, I connected the USB to USB as normal to make it work as a tablet, and then I used the mini display port to HDMI and connected the HDMI connection in the back of my CPU. And it didn't work, so um, it's a waste of money. I've wasted a lot of money buying all these cables, and none of them worked. So um, yeah, unfortunately, this is the only thing that worked for me. Um, there are other connections I think that you can buy, like a StarTech um, display uh, that looks a bit like no, it looks a bit like a three, like a three. Um, there's an HDMI connection, and then there's two USB and HDMI. Um, port in the front that you can connect it to as well and I've seen a video on YouTube saying that that will work but um, I didn't buy that I bought this one instead and this one worked for me now when I first connected the um, when I first connected the when the display came out <laughs> all these um, icons are not here and all I can see is the taskbar in the, in the bottom and that's because my display settings is on the um, extension, it's not on um, duplicate. So to duplicate it, all you need to do is go to display settings here. And then, um, as you can see, it is now uh, duplicating my monitor. So instead of this monitor extending to my um, Wacom Cintiq display, it's now duplicating this to this. So. Um, that's how I want it to be. So all you need to do is go to multiple displays here and then choose duplicate these displays because I think when you first connect this will be on extend these displays which you can also use if you want to do it that way but um, duplicate these displays is the one that works for me. So when I open now my um, my Medibang I can paint on it if I want to using the display on my um, on my Cintiq. So that's, um, yeah, that's it. I'm really excited about this because I've been working on it for months trying to figure out how to make it work. And this is finally the the one that worked. So um, hopefully this video will be helpful for you if you're having trouble with your Wacom Cintiq Pro or any other Wacom device that you purchased. But yeah, unfortunately, you're going to have to purchase something else now. <laughs> so um, good luck and hope it works for you. Bye.